Hey guys, it's Trinity, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a homemade stress ball with, like, just home appliances. So, here we go. I mean, like, home stuff. Stuff you have at home. So, first, you will be needing some saran wrap. Doesn't matter what size. It depends how big or how little you want your stress ball. And then you'll need flour, some water, and... If you want, I use pie crust flour and water just because it makes it more squishy. But if you don't want to, you can just use flour. Anyway, you'll also need some food dye. So I just mixed the um, pie crust with water and flour. And then you can choose whatever colors you want. So I decided actually to do a little bit of a rainbowish thingy, which you don't even need much for this project. Oh my gosh, it's not coming out. Okay, um, anyway, yeah. Okay, finally. Now I can just shake those out. And so, I, you can also do mixtures. So, if you are doing rainbow, you're going to need to split stuff into sections. So, this is what mine turned out looking like. Should be like kind of hard, but kind of squishy. Okay. Be careful with this project. It gets very messy. So you just like take that little chunk and put it on the surround wrap. And then whatever color you want, you use. So I wanted blue, so I chose blue. Here we are. And you really don't need much, like I said. And then you can use a knife like I am to mix it because you really don't want your hands to get that. If it accidentally happens, it happens. But you do that on purpose just for the fun of it. So guys, I decided to use a plastic bag instead, just so then you can mix it easier because obviously this is not turning out well. So then again, um, back at it. Flour, a little bit more flour, flour, chunk of this stuff. I can stick in the chair right now. Chunk of this stuff. Put the bag open. Put some food dye right on. So anyway, then you just squeeze it and rub it and stuff because then it will end up turning blue. I promise you guys. It's going to take a little bit. <laughs> like, see, that side still doesn't have any but just squeeze it. I've done this before, so. I just thought maybe saran wrap would work. It's not cute. I'm just do this. And then once you're done mixing it, if you want to, you can put it on saran wrap. I wouldn't suggest it though. I'm just gonna do this, so. so if you don't have um, anything to mix it with, you can mix it with your hands. But that's only if you're okay with getting food done. I just put like a tad bit in there. And so, it, it's turning into a green blob now. Right now I have red and blue, but like the red kind of turned out pink, so pretty much pink. I'm working on the green because I do not um because I like the green and then after the green I put in the yellow and then I can start mixing colors so as you can see it's supposed to be goopy so then it's squishy and I can just see and I'm mad just using this already so you can lay it out in strips like I did I'll show you before I wrap it up but 
Um, also you can just lay it in blocks. But I decided to lay it in strips, so then when you wrap it up, then it will just be, um, already, like, separated, so it won't all mix together. So, then, as you can see, I take some more. And I just rubbed it in, and I got something like that, so I just rubbed that in too. Oh, and the only reason I'm doing that is because my hand, I don't feel like getting the cap all dirty. But I wouldn't suggest doing that, like, if there's excess stuff on it, like excess food coloring. I mean, like, it couldn't kill you, but... It still isn't great for you. So, yellow is all done. I gotta rinse my hand off. Then, okay. Um, mom, red and blue makes purple, right? Um. Yes. Okay. Sorry, I was. Thinking of stuff. This one. Doesn't matter to me. Occupied in my head. That's okay. I get that way too. So, since it's two colors, you don't want a lot of each color. Which I didn't put a lot of red. Because I'm like running out, so. Hold on. This is sticking. There. Then you mix it up. See? So, um, I just like laid it out in strips and tied it, and now it looks, um, really cool. And so you can see the blue, the pink, the green, yellow, purple, teal. And you can cut off these. Okay. And it's just a little stress ball. And I'm going to wrap it again just to, so it doesn't pop. Okay. So I got this. And I got this. And then all you do is you set it right there. And then you just like wrap it right here. And it's kind of, you just want it to like be tied. So then you tie it at the end. <coughs> then And it's kind of like a candy wrapper. In there. And if you want to, again, you can just trim the sides. But 
I might keep it like this. I really don't. Right there. And that's how you make it. Let me pick up my hand. Bye. And.